Thank you. Now honoring a Colorado hero. Governor Polis ordered flags to half staff as we remember South Metro firefighter para paramedic Tony Pilato. Pilato was laid to rest, surrounded by his family, friends, and colleagues. Copter 4 flew over a miles long procession for Pilato following his memorial service. It started at Denver First Church off Hampton Avenue and wound its way through the South Metro area. CBS Force Kelly Worthman at the church this evening. Kelly, so easy to see the respect. People have for Pilato. Well, Tony Pilato was a beloved member of South Metro Fire Rescue, an agency hit hard by cancer. In fact, his service today is the third in just four years for a South Metro firefighter whose life was cut short by job related cancer. Today, hundreds gathered to honor his sacrifice. Bells are a symbolic tone of a firefighter's career. They mark the start of a shift, alarm bells summon crews to a call, and they mournfully signal a fallen first responder's sacrifice. Tony was a gift to us, and now he's gone. Tony Pilato dedicated his life to emergency service. Born and raised in Aurora, the Hinckley High School grad loved helping others. Tony spent more than 30 years as a paramedic before passing away from job-related cancer at 55. The fire service was more than just a job to Tony, it was a calling. He was a true professional, and South Metro has lost an icon, and our community's lost a hero. Tony stopped at nothing to help his community every day. On this day, his community stopped to honor him, including the wife of another firefighter and her son. We all feel it, even though I not, didn't know this firefighter personally. Just pay your respect for somebody who sacrificed his life for us. Family and friends say they'll always remember Tony's bright smile and infectious laugh. <laughs> and will never forget his servant's heart. God be resident me and we have a career. And Tony is survived by his wife, two daughters, siblings, and parents, a family that will now forever be supported by Tony's brothers and sisters of the fire service. In Englewood, I'm Kelly Worthman, covering Colorado First.